what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here this will be a spoiler free review for kingdom of the planet of the apes which arrives in theaters thursday friday and this movie is directed by Wes Ball, written by Josh Friedman. It is starring Owen Teague, Freya Allen, Kevin Durant, Peter Macon, William H. Marcy, and several others. This film is set 300 years after the events of War for the Planet of the Apes. Ape civilizations have emerged from the oasis to which Caesar led his fellow apes, while humans have regressed into a feral, primitive state. When the ape king Pro Proximus Caesar, armed with weapons forged from lost human technologies, perverts Caesar's teachings to enslave other clans, the chimpanzee hunter Noah embarks on a harrowing journey alongside a human woman named May to determine the future for apes and humans alike. Now, I will say the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is a solid new beginning for this reboot franchise that started back in what was it, 2011, 2012? I say this as someone who wasn't very impressed with the trailer. However, I'm glad the film won me over in the long run and look forward to where this goes next. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes more than exceeded my expectations. Uh, granted, I wasn't someone who was really paying too much attention to it. I was very much so done with it after War for the Planet of the Apes. When I heard about a new one, wasn't really all that enthused. Didn't really get a big, oh, I gotta rush out and see it vibe from the trailer. But I've seen the movie and I'm pleasantly surprised and pleased with it. Friedman screenplay gives us a promising newcomer to lead this gripping story in Noah, who spends most of the film trying to understand the different ways Caesar's legacy is interpreted. While some want to weaponize it like our villain Proximus Caesar, other newcomers like Raka have a better idea or understanding of what Caesar stood for during that rebellion 300 years ago. Noah is a very likable protagonist, and I trust that I'll grow to love him even more as this series progresses, but I found his character to be a bit dull at times or at least not as interesting as those that would come in contact with him. It's not just Noah. It's every newcomer, I would say, is going to have to level up next film because I just couldn't fully commit to their journeys. I was hooked by their potential and their personalities and their likable qualities more than anything. Proximus Caesar, as twisted as he was or is, was far more compelling and easy to invest in over the protagonist going against him so the simple explanation here i can say is that noah's underdog story just didn't land as strongly as it should have but he was still a solid new protagonist that just has to find his footing moving forward raka was undeniably the heart of the story when it came to the apes their admiration and fondness of caesar caesar's legacy will immediately win you over and if that doesn't get the job done the humor raka displays will some of the film's funniest moments are thanks to raka how this story honors Caesar was nothing less than brilliant. I was smiling ear to ear. He's regarded as some fallen messiah, if you will, as he should be. And it worked well here, making it clear his sacrifice still motivates everything unfolding with these apes. And I like how it really sig signals how influential and how crucial of a character he still is, even though he's gone. Being 300 years later, we are exploring a world where humans are in the position they had apes in once upon a time, living in fear as a second class species. The visual effects remain phenomenal for this franchise, and I'd say perhaps this film includes the best yet. When I was revisiting the first three, I was impressed by how well the visual effects held up in, in those three movies, and I'm glad Kingdom didn't disappoint in the visual effects department. Every performance was strong across the board, but Duran impressed me the most. As I mentioned, Proximus really stole the show for me. Duran's voice just commands your attention. Freya Allen did a wonderful job as May. Teague impressed me as Noah. And when I heard his voice, I was like, he sounds familiar. And then I was like, this has to be Alec from I See You. And then sure enough, that's who it was. When I saw Teague, I was like, yeah, that's, that's Alec. <laughs> Ball's direction is great. I do miss Reeves, but Ball did a solid job. All the suspense was felt. There's a lot of emotional beats that land very well. Again, strong performances. However, be prepared for some odd pacing. The film can drag at times, especially during that first act. And then it really just shifts it into the next gear once we hit the middle point. And then I don't see those issues anymore. It's just a few cuts go on for way too long. They last way too long. One sequence I can forgive and give a pass to was when Noah was being overwhelmed by his clan being attacked and the camera work during that moment just helped heighten the stakes there and it made sense for it to kind of linger and be a tracking shot in that instance and just 
kind of lets you get immersed in that moment. But there's a lot of instances where cuts are lasting for way too long. And I was beginning to grow tired of certain parts of the movie. So thankfully, the movie started to pick up the pacing as it progressed. And we didn't have these scenes that felt drawn out and really weighed on the experience or brought the experience down for me, I would say. The soundtrack, I... Yeah, good soundtrack. It had a phenomenal soundtrack, honestly. Soundtrack heightens the emotions when it needs to, chimes in at all the right moments. Definitely added another layer to Proximus Caesar's arrogance, confidence, and the intensity of that character. Again, Duran did a solid job blending that humor with someone who can also be equally just as terrifying when necessary. I would say that Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is a solid 7 and a half out of 10 uh yeah i i'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of ten i enjoyed it for what it was i would say the film's biggest issue is gonna be the pacing i would say that's arguably the biggest issue pacing and just some of the character work i could have done or i would have liked to see a little bit more from our protagonist noah noah's gonna have to find his footing going forward it's just that there were things happening around him that just made noah inferior at times it felt like we should have been focusing on another character in a lot of ways but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below when you check out dawn not dawn <laughs> kingdom of the planet of the apes let me know if you like it or if you don't like it down in the comment section below it's a good time i had fun with it i expect this film to be a success and i hope and pray that we will see more of what they have established and set up here because the ending really has me curious for what is to come let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video